through some of the most important keys and some of the big mistakes that I see in chipping. I find a lot of people make it very, very complicated when it comes to kind of teaching chipping and it really doesn't need to be. I think for me, one of the biggest things that I look for is just nothing extreme. I generally like people to be in kind of quite a straight line. So by that, I mean, if we took a line from my nose down to my belt and then through the middle of my stance, everything would be lined up reasonably straight. The second thing I'm looking for is to feel like the golf club itself is a little bit more upright. Now, as I get further away from the green and I make a bigger swing, that will start to flatten down a little bit more into the normal position. But as I'm close to the green here, only a couple of yards off it, I want to feel like as I set up to it, I really have the handle kind of lifted up a little bit more than normal. Now, from there, what I'm basically going to do is position the ball right in the middle of my stance. I'm not going to favor either foot to begin in terms of setup. I want to kind of keep it quite 50-50. And I want to keep my arms quite relaxed. Again, a lot of people really favor a very stiff, very rigid setup when it comes to chipping. And I want to keep the arms and especially the elbows kind of close to my body and relaxed. So that's really the basics of the setup. So I want everything to feel quite level. Weight 50-50. Club in the middle of my stance. Club quite upright and arms quite soft. And that's my little checklist for setup. Now from there, what I wanna see is a little rotation of the face so it would show itself to the camera. And then as I come through, a little rotation the other way. Now as, as I turn the other way, I also want my body to turn through with it. So my body will turn to face the target. So if I'm here, ball in the middle, club in the middle, arms nice and relaxed. And I'm gonna rotate to the right, rotate to the left. So you'll see my body will just follow it and face the target. So if I'm here, club nice and upright, rotate to the right, rotate to the left. And I always like a finished position where my arms feel quite relaxed and the club stays quite close to my left pocket. So I'm not really stretching or reaching my arms away. So again, if I'm here, club nice and upright, arms nice and relaxed, rotate to the right, rotate to the left. And again, you can see that finished position where I'm looking straight down the target, my arms are soft and the club is facing the finish. And they're the basic keys that I want to do with your stroke to just begin in terms of becoming a better chipper.